Thank you for taking the time to learn about your CardioCheck Plus Analyzer. In this video, we'll go over everything you need to know about setting up the analyzer, checking the system and running controls, running a test, cleaning and disinfecting the analyzer, and storing and handling the analyzer. Today, we will be showing you how to run a PTS Panels Lipid Panel Plus E-Glue Smart Bundle Test. Let's go over the components of your CardioCheck Plus Analyzer. The display shows test results, messages, the time, the date, and stored results. The Enter button allows you to turn the analyzer on and accept menu choices. The Next button also allows you to turn the analyzer on and advance to the Next Menu option. The Memo Chip port is where you'll insert the memo chip that comes with your PTS panel's test strips. The reflectance test strip slot is where you'll insert the gray check strip when checking the analyzer's electronic and optical systems and your reflectance test strip when it's time to run a patient test. The electrochemical test strip port is where you insert the PTS panel's e-glue test strips. The USB port allows you to connect to a PTS Connect printer. The first time you use the analyzer, you'll need to install the batteries, set the language, date, and time. First, install the batteries according to the instructions in the CardioCheck version 1.12 user guide. Take a moment to make sure the batteries are inserted correctly before moving on. Now that the batteries are installed, let's set the language. Turn on the analyzer by pressing either the Next or Enter button. The screen will read Language. Press Enter. English will appear. Press Enter to set the analyzer's language to English. If you'd like to select a different language, press Next until you find the language you want. Then, press Enter. Now, let's set the date and time. After setting the language, Set Time and Date will be displayed on your screen. Press Enter. Using the Enter and Next buttons, set the correct date and time on the analyzer. Before running patient tests, Verify that the analyzer's electronic and optical systems are working properly by running a check strip verification. You'll use the gray check strips included in your carrying case. We recommend that you run a check strip verification each day of testing, if the analyzer has been dropped, and when a result is not consistent with the expected results. To run a check strip verification, Turn on the analyzer by pressing either the Next or Enter button. The memo chip does not need to be installed in the analyzer. Place the analyzer on a flat, stable surface. From the main menu, press Next until Check Strip is highlighted and press Enter. When Insert Strip appears on the screen, insert the gray check strip ribbed side up into the reflectance test strip slot. Do not move the analyzer during testing. If the analyzer screen says, Passed, good news! You're ready to run controls. If the analyzer says, Failed, you'll want to make a few adjustments and try again. Please refer to Section 4 of your CardioCheck Plus version 1.12 user guide for details. If your check strip verification still fails after all troubleshooting measures have been taken, please do not use the analyzer call customer service for assistance. Running quality control helps to ensure the accuracy of your test system. We recommend running controls with each new shipment, with each new PTS panel's test strips lot number, in accordance with state, local, and federal regulations and your facility's requirements. To run controls, first put on medical quality disposable gloves. Then, Gather the following materials. The CardioCheck Plus Analyzer, the Level 1 and Level 2 Multi-Chemistry Liquid Control Materials, the Quality Control Instructions, which can be found in the box with your control materials, the Quality Control Range Card, which can be found in the box with the control materials or at ptsdiagnostics.com, the PTS Panel's Test Strips and Memo Chip. Check the expiration dates on both the PTS panel's test strips and the control materials to make sure they have not expired. 
make sure that the memo chip lot number and the test strips lot number match. Make sure the analyzer is on a flat, stable surface. Turn on the analyzer by pressing either button. Press Next until Quality Control is highlighted in the main menu. Press Enter. Run Control will appear on the screen. Press Enter. Install Memo Chip will appear on the screen. Insert the Memo Chip into the Memo Chip port. Make sure that the lot number that appears on your analyzer display and the test strip's lot number match. Insert Strip will appear on the display screen. Remove one e-glue test strip from the vial and immediately replace the lid. Hold the test strip with the arrow pointing toward the analyzer. Insert the strip into the electrochemical test strip port. Gently push the test strip into the port as far as it will go. Remove one lipid panel test strip from the vial and immediately replace the lid. Hold the test strip by the end opposite of the blood application window. Insert the end with the blood application window into the reflectance test strip slot. Gently push the test strip into the slot as far as it will go. When the test strips are inserted correctly, the screen will display Apply Sample. Start by inverting the level 1 control vial four to six times to mix the solution. Then remove the cap, turn the vial upside down, and hold the tip of the vial directly in front of the tip of the e-glue test strip. Do not touch the vial to the strip. Carefully squeeze the vial to deliver one drop of control solution to the tip of the electrochemical test strip. Next, apply solution to the lipid panel test strip. Turn the level one control vial upside down and hover the tip directly above the test strip blood application window. Do not touch the test strip with the vial. Carefully squeeze the vial to deliver two drops of control solution to the blood application window. Replace the cap on the vial of control solution. The analyzer will automatically begin testing and will return results in as little as 90 seconds. Do not move the analyzer while it is testing. Once the results appear, check your range card to see if your results are within the specified range. Look under the header Single Analyte Test Strips on the card for the glucose slash e-glue range. Look under the header Multi-Analyte Test Strips on the card for cholesterol, HDL cholesterol, and triglycerides ranges. Record your results, remove the test strips, and discard them in a biohazard container. If your level 1 results are within range, press Enter to move on to the level 2 control test. Use new test strips and the level 2 vial of control solution. If your results are not within range, check the back of the lipid panel test strip to make sure that the three circles are completely colored. If they are not completely colored, you might not have applied enough control solution. See the quality control testing section in the CardioCheck Plus version 1.12 user guide for more troubleshooting tips. If troubleshooting measures fail, please do not continue to use the analyzer. Patient tests should not be run until control results are in range. Call customer service for help. Once you've verified that your analyzer is working properly by running a check strip and controls, you're ready to run a patient test. Put on a new pair of disposable gloves. Then gather all the items you'll need. Analyzer, PTS Panel's Lipid Panel Test Strips, PTS Panel's E-Glue Test Strips, Memo Chip, Lancet, PTS Collect Capillary Tubes, 40 microliters, Gauze, Alcohol Wipes, Biohazard Container. Perform a three-point check. Turn the analyzer on by pressing either button. Patient test will be highlighted in the main menu. Press Enter. Install the memo chip as instructed on the analyzer screen. A lot number will appear. Make sure that the lot numbers on the screen, on the memo chip, and on the test strip vials match. Set the analyzer on a flat, stable surface. Remove one e-glue test strip from the vial and immediately replace the lid. Hold the test strip with the arrow pointing toward the analyzer. Insert the strip into the electrochemical test strip port. Gently push the test strip into the port as far as it will go. 
Remove one lipid panel test strip from the vial and immediately replace the lid. Hold the test strip by the opposite end of the blood application window. Insert the end with the blood application window into the reflectance test strip slot. Gently push the test strip into the slot as far as it will go. Now, perform a finger stick on the patient and collect a sample. Decide whether you will collect the sample from the middle finger or ring finger. You can ask the patient which they'd prefer. Clean the finger with an alcohol wipe. Make sure the finger is dry before proceeding. With a new, sterile, disposable lancet, puncture the skin. Stick the finger on the side of the fingertip. To get a drop of blood, gently apply pressure to the finger, starting at the end of the finger closest to the hand and moving towards the tip. Pressure should be intermittent. Do not milk the finger. Apply the sample to the e-glued test strip first. Touch the blood drop to the tip of the strip. Wipe away any blood remaining on the fingertip with gauze. And then, collect a second blood sample for the lipid panel test strip with a capillary tube. The blood drop should be hanging down from the finger to make it easier to collect the sample with a pipette or capillary tube. Again, gently apply intermittent pressure to the finger until you've drawn the appropriate amount of blood. To dispense the blood sample, hold the bulb of the capillary tube, placing your fingers over the two small holes. In one gentle, steady squeeze of the bulb, dispense the entire sample onto the strip. Be careful not to touch the tip of the capillary tube to the test strip. Once you've applied the sample, do not move the analyzer until the test is complete. Results will appear on your screen in as little as 90 seconds. Once the results are displayed, remove the test strips. Check the back of the lipid panel test strip to make sure that the three circles are completely colored. This indicates that you applied enough blood sample to obtain accurate results. If the circles are not completely colored, you may need to collect another sample and run the test again with new test strips. Once the test is complete, record the results and dispose of the test strips in a biohazard container. To help protect your patients and yourself against blood-borne pathogens, you must fully clean and disinfect your CardioCheck Plus analyzer between each patient test and before storing. First, clean the analyzer. Take two Super Santa Claus disinfectant wipes out of their container. Fold the wipes in half and forcefully twist them at least three times to wring out excess liquid. Set one wipe aside. With the other wipe, thoroughly clean all areas of the analyzer. This will remove any left-behind organic materials or blood products. Dispose of the used wipe in the biohazard container. Dry the analyzer with a piece of gauze or allow it to air dry. Then disinfect the analyzer. Thoroughly wipe all areas of the analyzer again with the wipe you set aside. Keep the surfaces of the analyzer damp with disinfectant for two minutes. This is long enough to kill blood-borne pathogens. Once the necessary disinfectant contact time is up, allow the device to air dry completely. Clean the optical glass with an alcohol wipe to remove any residue left behind by the disinfectant. Dry with gauze. Inspect the optical glass, holding it at different angles to make sure it is clean before running your next test or before placing the analyzer in the case. Remove your gloves, thoroughly clean your hands, and put on a new pair of gloves before testing the next patient. Proper storage and handling helps protect the performance and longevity of your analyzer. Store the CardioCheck Plus analyzer in the case provided at the temperature indicated in the user guide. Store the PTS panel's control materials and test strips at the temperatures indicated in their package inserts. Store the memo chip in the box with its original lot of test strips. Do not store the memo chip in the vial with the test strips. If you plan to store the analyzer for an extended period of time, remove the batteries and store them in the analyzer's case. Place the black optical glass cover on the analyzer before storing. Please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions. You can reach a customer service representative by phone or email. For customer service hours and additional contact information, please visit ptsdiagnostics.com slash contact us.